again. Formation of CSF. We have discussed during ependymal cell lecture the CSFs are formed by the ependymal cell in the choroid flexus. So, this ependymal cell have the tight junction and play, play a very important role for the formation of CSF. And we have also discussed that capillary in the choroidal choroid flexus have fenestrated, so they do not have the blood brain barrier. So, easily the fluid can move from the capillary to outside, but this ependymal cell they have the tight junction. So, only selective molecule can pass through and form the CSF. Actually, CSF is the filtrate of ependymal cell or epithelial cell. So, let us see what are the transport mechanism in the epithelial cell or the C, uh, ependymal cell occurs during the formation of CSF. So, in the next slide we will take only one cell ependymal cell from the choroid flexus and let us see what are the transport mechanism it is present in the uh, ependymal cell or epithelial cell. So, we have the blood capillary these are fenestrated they have the pole endothelial cell have the pore. So, they do not have the blood brain barrier or the tight junction. Uh, this is the epithelial cell or let me say the ependymal cell and uh, this membrane the ependymal cell one area one side is basal surface where you can we do not find the uh, cilia or the microvilli the sorry villi we do not find the villi these are basal surface another surface we have the epical surface here the villi are present or these are uh, epical surface. So, here the transport system anti transport anti transport means these are exchanger two molecule they are moving in opposite direction across the cell membrane. So, it is the exchange sodium is taken in at the same time hydrogen ion is taking out. So, at the same uh, in the similar way bicarbonate taking in this molecule is coming inside the cell and chloride is going outside the cell exchanger or secondary active transporter. Another transporter here the sim, sim port system here I, these are integral protein they allow two molecule move in the same direction across the membrane. So, here the molecule is chloride and the sodium ion and the bicarbonate is formed from the carbon dioxide it is coming out from the metabolism of the cell and plus water plus water and they form the bicarbonic acid and then carbonate uh, bicarbonate and in the apical surface these are very important sodium potassium pump the or sodium potassium ATPase their function is to 3 sodium out and 2 potassium in 3 sodium out and 2 potassium in. So, as the sodium is out and accumulating in this space sodium concentration is increasing because of this pump uh, move, uh, sodium ion is uh, kicked out to this area by this pump. So, sodium as the sodium concentration is increasing the so water always follows sodium. So, water is drained to this area because of sodium water always follows the sodium and as the sodium concentration is increasing the positive ion also increasing to neutralize the positive ion chloride is moving to this area and bicarbonate also moving to this area to neutralize the positive ion that is how the CSF uh, are formed by this component and as so the normal CSF value cells protein and glucose 2.7 to 4.2 millimole per liter pressure less than 170. So, these are the normal value. So, the CSF they have 99 percent water and micronutrient the neuron or the glial cell they receive the micronutrient from the CSF micronutrient like vitamin B6, foliate and vitamin C they receive from the CSF, but the nutrient large quantities like glucose, amino acid, lactates, the neurons and the neuroglia they receive directly from the capillary. This capillary interstitial capillary of the nervous tissue nervous system and this, this brain this, this capillary have the blood brain barrier they have the endothelial 
tight junction and CSF uh, also play important role not only supply the requirement or the nutrient to the neuron, but also metabolic product of the neuron are taken up by the CSF. So, analysis of CSF gives some indications regarding the neuron or the disease condition or the infections.